Mercury taking on the Los Angeles Sparks as we take a peek at our state score on all three levels. Both players will have an impact on their team's outcome tonight. Well, Diana Tarazi and her second game back with the Phoenix Mercury. Greiner on the right of the purple. Neko Gumake in the gold on the left. And we get rolling. So much of this offense attended upon what Brittany Griner can do, but Candace Parker stepping in front, getting a hand on it. Point seven assists, which is second most for a player at 6'4". Emma Miesemann averages the most for a player at 6'4", with 3.9. And quick, uh, Tiffany, I'm not sure either team can stop the other. I think they're so good on the offensive end. We talked about them meeting in the season opener back on July 25th. She's used to finishing that alley-oop. She did that many times at Notre Dame. Did you see Parker just dribble Parker. around that guy? Yeah, yeah, no, like no <laughs> problem. Guard-like skills, as fresh as she did when she studies a lot of film. Can break down and she's a mom. Daughter Layla in the wobble with her. So she's, she's kind of a triple threat, if you will. Tarasi with a nice ball faking <laughs> hit. Back and watch Diana Tarasi work her magic on the court. Some West Coast magic between Phoenix and Los Angeles. 5-4 early on. Sparks had the advantage. Candace Parker! They're Seattle. They have the best star right. in the history of their franchise. Okay? They're, they're really good. And then the rest. It's hard to put that power pull together right now. Yeah. Figure out who the second, third, fourth, fifth. That's my point, and we already know how great the playoffs are going to be. That's right. Top eight advance. If you're among the top four, you get that first round by Sydney Weiss driving baseline. And is that the fine deck of Wumake for the 14 footer? Diana Tarazzi bouncing off like a pinball, just short. Chelsea Gray with the 50 cross. For games, but they're also staying socially active. Good hands and defense on both sides. The ball kind of bouncing both ways. Brittany Griner oh. going right into the hoop. Really good team defense in the paint. Laquana Williams with the ball in her hand. She has been absolutely smart. With that right hand, she's got a big, strong frame that allows her to finish in complete place. Chelsea Gray, who had 13 points in her first meeting with Phoenix. Candace Parker with a step back jumper. Get in defense. Playing inside their offensive concepts, not just trying to ISO one particular player that might be a weak link on defense. Okay, here's a mismatch right here, Parker and Diggins. And also seeing some offensive efficiency is averaging 86 points a game, one of the tops in the league. And they're with the point well, sale. It's, it's one of the um, <laughs> things that we would like to think we might get a little bit of a free pass on since we're calling games at home. That's one thing that's sometimes challenging to recognize. On top of that, lights out. Yeah. Raquana Williams for the Los Angeles Sparks, who is really knocking down just about six threes a game here, decided to come in a little bit. Eighteen points a game over this four game win yep. spurt. She's let him in scoring the last four games. Yep. He is on with a wide open look, can't get it to fall. See, that's where your defense is doing a good job of forcing option number five on the floor to take a shot. Not 
not even expecting that pass from Diana Karasi, and they turn it over while currently third most in WNBA history. Well, they're number one in the league in three-point shooting right now at 42% as a team. That means their spacing is outstanding and the right people are taking shots. Right people just like that in Simone Augustus, the trusty vet and the largest lead of the ball game as the... Skyler digging Smith loses control, likely got a hand on it as the Sparks defense and Taya Cooper is taking her time. Simone Augustus picks it up and again, and now mentality for the Sparks. And Augustus has been a great missing piece for them. Ronald Smith over to Turner around that. And this group won two games and only lost one without her on the floor. So it's a matter too, Debbie, of them getting used to her kind of being back out there. So. <laughs> Tarasi right here, just left short. Rebound by Turner. Smith along the baseline to the body of Christina Nigue. Come into the game and has made back-to-back -back plays and assisted teams. She knows when to refocus back on her team. But you know, as Christina Nigue goes in hard, Alice was the fact that she didn't feel like her team brought the right type of energy to the game and to the floor. World defense in the WNBA versus the NBA. And this game is evolving and how much better the offenses are getting and you know the way the NBA plays pick and roll, screen, screen and roll defense is they pretty much gap it with a big guy. Right on. I mean absolutely 100% has a great vision about where where he sees his franchise and where he sees the game going. Out in LA and they got the music rolling. I've heard a few West Coast vibes being played. Chelsea Gray, what a pass over to Brittany Sykes. Chelsea Gray off her right hand, and I thought Skyler did a really good job of it, but the size of Chelsea Gray, she's over the top. Nice take in. Defensively. Ball dribbled over to Sykes, around the horn. Here's a Bumake. Pull up jumper is true. Percent from the floor so far in this ball game. Gray trying to create a little separation. Stripped away by Tarasi. Back in the hands of Gray. She puts it up and I'm... Smith tried to work around. Crossover. And look, if you're Phoenix, you have to find a way for Brittany Griner to get touches. You've got to run your offense through her. Griner right back to Diggins Smith. Maria Hartley with the bounce pass at the free throw. Uh, I mean, it's a good choice. Weiss is shooting 53%, fourth best in the league outside the arc. See the defensive pressure being applied by Brittany Sykes. A lot of crowding on the wing. And Candace Parker says, no mail. The pass up ahead from Gray to Sykes. Great transition. Again, one of those full court passes, nearly a full court pass back in July. Out of the timeout, nice move. Too high and hard off the glass from Skylar Diggins-Smith. Got a two for one opportunity here. Sydney Wee senses it. And just two. Sh two for one here for Phoenix.
lot of dribbling. They opt not to take that opportunity potentially with under 10 on the shot clock in the grinder. And the Sparks will hold for the final shot of this first half. They came out shooting and certainly and hardly. Back at it here in the third quarter. Ball fake from Sykes that take on the baseline. So what Tierra Ruff and Pratt would have been, uh, who's out for the game with an injury, but because of defensive reasons for length on the point guard position. Pratt has been battling an ankle injury that the Los Angeles Sparks had and just kind of what they did with their time. And it looks like it's benefited them. They got some much needed sleep, they said. They took their mind off the basketball as a nice team lead. They look like the fresher team tonight. That's a great kick. Team make. Coming. Parker with another dime. Oh, just missed by Gumake. Sykes once more on the take. Thing right, and you leave it right there, and they missed on that a long time ago. That was an old Dean Smith. But just think about this, Tiffany. Phoenix is still over outside the three-point line. So if you're on defense for LA, making your defense until they make you expect intensity that his team is bringing. In, in this abbreviated season, do you, you know, focus on your opponent or do you try to work on your team a little bit more? And he says, really, it's a really fine balance. And Skylar Diggins is going to care a lot about what we do. He talked to me about the discipline in their concepts. Like if, if we stay strong in the, the concepts that we team play defensively, it makes a lot of sense. And they need to find for three. Pops in and out, good rebound from Brianna Turner. Back again is Tarasi. I don't know if I like changing the ball like that. No way. Players, Brittany Sykes steps up, misses the jumper. A stop on defense. We'll see if the Mercury can chip away at this lead. How about Brittany Griner put the... Hartley with the nice bounce pass and the miss right there from Turner. Up ahead, Gray to Agumake. That's the second time a point blank basket has been missed by Agumake. Tarasi working on Sykes, the charge. Diane is going to get a technical here. You know, I just happened to look it up today. I was just curious. That much more challenging for Brittany Grinder to have to play in a crowd. Well, she has one on one with Candace Parker, the up and under, the basket. And <laughs> Try to plead their case. You know, typically they would kind of be in their separate bubbles, if you will, but. It's all one big family down in Bradenton. I mean, automatic support. Just on autopilot. Yep, she's been doing that her entire career. We'll have to leave the effort in the front court. Which she's very capable and oh, has absolutely. done all season. Absolutely. Stations like for MVP, in line for a six woman of the year look. 
I think she should be. I think Rhea Hartley could Rhea be. Hartley is in the one. Yeah, absolutely. What a pink. I saw something in Phoenix's notes today that she played really well. Okay. I could see that. I mean, obviously Diana Taurasi brings her own fire and passion to the game, but secondary player like to give that as Chelsea Gray rushing back on defense after the bake. Let me say that let me say that correctly about Kofi Cunningham. She has the best in the corner and Quantum Williams can't hit that one over two. Chelsea Gray made eye contact with Raquana Williams before she got the ball in her hand. She knew she was passing it behind three of the night for Phoenix. She's, she might be the one, I think, Tiffany, that could really get hot here and bring Phoenix back. She's done it already multiple times this season as Simone Augustus sees that one go off the front of the iron. Hartley loses it and then quickly wraps up Augustus. So about three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. We're just gonna go one four low right here and let Chelsea Gray go one on one. Flatten it out. Maybe a late screen, but she waved off the screen. I don't think no stinking screen. No. Too easy, Cunningham coming back the other way. Tierra Ruffin Pratt with her hand on it. Take. Never mind. 1.6 seconds. And again, the anticipation we've seen all game long defensively from the Sparks, both hamstring and back issues. Kelsey Gray with the. And luckily, with this season's injury to her back, the MRI revealed that it was not the same area as it was last year but back issues are back issues and Bria Hartley knocks that Ruffin Pratt steps up for the J Tarasi in transition and in rhythm and they look how quickly the three you get you right back in that's it that's right that's right some momentum we trim down to single single digits now We'll shoot a couple. Candace Parker, who said I played during the SEC days while she was at LSU and I was at Tennessee. Tough competitor. How about Diana Tarasi once you done, you've awakened a sleeping giant and Tarasi is like, okay, y'all gonna see me. Y'all gonna see me. Augustus, knocking down buckets on both ends of the floor. Smith asking for it. Puts it in. But now just a seven point game. Remember, Los Angeles led by as many as 20 okay, now with 10 points. Phoenix just couldn't get back-to-back -back buckets. They couldn't get any rhythm going, and now they look like they're in a much better way. Gray, Augustus, Ruffin, Pratt, and Raquana Williams. All Instead of the dribble handoff, it's a nice backdoor cut. Start to click on offense. Knock down a couple of shots here in this fourth quarter. And Diana Taurasi on that screen. Diana Taurasi's got three triples. Coming out the future Hall of Famer, 13 points tonight after a slow start. Laquana Williams, who's been relatively quiet, knocks down the 16 footer.
Cunningham in the corner on the arc has certainly come to life here in the fourth. That's how quickly the three can get you back in it. It's not always how many you make, it's when you make them. To Rossi. Oh, my goodness! To thank Bria Hartley for starting the trend. She knocked down the first couple of threes for Phoenix here in the second half. And now, Tarasi with the rebound up ahead to Hartley. Does not have the numbers, but she says, okay, I'm still mighty and strong. A Down one, by two. One possession game, Tiffany. Kept saying somebody had to get hot. Now LA going to a little clear out for Sykes. For Brittany Sykes. Hartley feeling it again, this time finds Griner stripped away. Third quarter and really a strong fourth quarter here. And they've drawn as close as two. And LA has turned into a jump shooting team. I don't blame Tarasi for going for it. Remember I said that she needed to, to look to be a little bit more selfish here in the second half. Another jump shot. Both teams settling for jump shots on both ends. The difference is it's the Mercury free throw line jumper. Tyler Diggins Smith leaves it short. And is Parker with a double double tonight. 13 points and 11 rebounds. No, I don't, I don't like that shot. In the bench for LA, normally scoring about 34 points a game tonight. They have 20. Sandy Brondello took Diana Trossi out on an offensive possession. Thought process behind there, just give her a quick breather, perhaps before Higgins, Smith, Mia Coffey, and Brittany Griner for the Mercury. Excuse me, Brianna Turner for the Mercury. They clear it out for an ISO and a one on one. Chelsea Gray misses. Order to keep an eye on that. If, the, if I heard the PA guy right. Hot clock. And Hartley on the inbound. Finds Mia Coffey. Excuse me, Brianna Turner. I keep saying yeah, that. <laughs> Brianna Turner trying to do too much on the baseline. Parker is watching. I'm pleased, but he didn't just have two from the line. At the two minute mark, Tarasti on the miss. She had several options in transition off those screens. She could have come off the drag or that step up, and she had a great step on the baseline to finish. Parker. It was stripped away by Hartley, who came from behind points. Griner finds Tarasi. Tarasi on the perimeter can't hit. Well, that's a, a break for LA because you, Brittany Sykes, left. 14 of 19 from plenty of time here for Phoenix. Get a quick push up the floor, take the best shot available. There comes a drag for Tarasi, same set. She still likes to go baseline. Now she's gonna draw the foul. 
position on her drives under the basket. <laughs> the officials and the players have been talking all night long and trying to create another opportunity to get two or three instead of one. Trying to Gray. catch LA off guard, maybe. Mm -hmm. Gray knocks down. Here's Diggins Smith instead. The take to the basket had a good look. Timeout remaining to advance the ball if they choose to. Which led to integrity and great detail. And worrying about the game and doing things for your teammates. Not worried about yourself, worried about your team. Say that word detail and it automatically brings to mind the late great Kobe Bryant, just the great detail in which he played with alongside with Fisher in those five NBA championships. Los Angeles. will move to eight and three on the season. And they have picked up five wins in a row. They've done it a number of different ways. Tonight, for the five starters with double figures, Candace Parker dropping another double-double. 